so hi guys welcome back to my channel guys good to have you back please subscribe like and share the video I haven't been there for a while I haven't done anything for a while I don't know it's just that you know, there's nothing to do I mean you can come up with a lot of videos but you need so much gadget <laughs> when you're in your house to get the right light so I'm on the road yet again it is a car vlog yet again as you can see because you know my wheel is going to be in the way yes so what so I've been thinking some stuff like our youths like the youths in the Bahamas is like I, it's still they're so confused to fix myself guys they're so confused and you know you get some of them who say you know they say that they're Christians and hasn't repent from their sin but they call themselves Christian you know the Bible says, how can you serve two masters at the same time but somehow these youths believe that they can serve two masters you know they can they can they can oh Jesus is good God is good God is blessing me and then but that same tone they start cussing and drinking and carrying on and being married of the things of this world and they they will quote scriptures, mind you, they will quote scriptures. And you just wonder like, this is why you confuse. You confuse because you want to serve two masters. You're calling yourself Christian, but you has not repented from your sin. You know, I've I follow a few YouTubers who said that they are Christians and it's like I don't know like you know the Bible say your your fruits that that will see that your, your, your that they you know that will show up that's supposed to show who you are but if you showing two different ways of life that you speak from your mouth and that I'm a Christian and then you do something th something else offset from what holiness is supposed to be like because it's, it, it's like I don't know what preaching in the uh, yes I do know you know everybody just preaching about this um, you know um, you want to be blessed so your seeds, so your tithes, so your offering, connect your seed, attach your these pastors just needs to stop asking people for their tithes and their offering and basically mostly is the seed. Guys, mostly it is the seed. <coughs> it's mostly the seed they really want because you know, come on now, they ain't want no 10% of what you're earning because you get some people um ain't earning that much in this country so they don't really want your 10 percent what they want is your seed and that seed is what they tell you that oh you spirit lord tell me you can sow a hundred dollars two thousand dollars a hundred you know you, you could sow this and that's that big seed they want they really don't really really do care about your tithes and your offerings because really they know your offering gonna be small and they know your tithes is going to be small because you get a small paycheck so really what they can call is more for your seed and you get people in the church and they're sowing and they're sowing and they're sowing and the youths you get you get a lot of youths goes to church 
but they're not saved they're not being delivered they're not being set free their mind is so mixed up because when they come out to church and then you know we don't sow our seed and we don't do this you know god has gone bless me but yet still they has not repented from their sins so where they are they're lost you know i, I follow a particular person on youtube and i follow this person she is a bahamian and i follow her on instagram and when i listen to her and all i'm seeing is confusion with her because one minute she up and one minute down it's like her motion is all around and it, it, it's not it, it like you know you just have ups ups and down right but then sometimes you have a long break of down and then you have a long break of ups because you know the enemy is gonna come out there and fight you and all that stuff but you have a long break of ups and a long breaks of down but I look at this young girl you know it's like it's split seconds she's up and split seconds she's down it's because she's confused she says she's Christian and know God but then she's not she has not repented from her sins you know because what she shows on her Instagram sh stories you know she's partying and she's not taking in the things of God she's not holiness is something that you ought to show holiness is something that you ought to betray and that betray you you betray that by your action and these people these young people you know you mind you you have a lot who's on fire for God and they're holy they really keeping themselves for God yes there is there's there's a lot of young people out there in the Bahamas who are on fire for God I mean really anointed and bringing the word for and live keeping themselves holy unto God yes there is but then then you have these said who said that they also are Christians but there's no fire in them because they're not holy they haven't confessed their sins and this is why our youths right now are so lost and this is why they become gener generation of vipers because of the situation you know the situation that they can go into the church and they can do anything and everything afterwards and once i didn't pay my tithes and once i didn't pay my offering and my seed god is gonna bless me but i don't have to live holy i'm in the church but i don't have to live righteously i'm in the church i don't have to be just i'm in the church and i can do what i want to do and follow what i feel that is right in myself and they're leaning on their own understanding and because of that they confuse you cannot serve two masters you have to choose one and if you say you are christian you have to repent from your sins that's something you have to do you must live holy holiness is required that's that's a mandatory thing to do as Christians that's mandatory that is no if but or what or why it, it, it is a mandatory thing but if should I no it's a mandatory thing that you live holy that's what God required from us and to do that which is right before his eyes not before man eyes before his eyes not pleasing man but pleasing God and this is what wrong with our youths today they they is they, they, they so confused and this is why they up today and down tomorrow and can up today and down tomorrow and up today and down tomorrow it's like they don't have a long period of being up and they don't have you know a, a, a long period of being down because we are Christians who serving God even living holy before God we have seasons of where we're gonna be up and then you know season gonna be long and then we have seasons that we're gonna be down and that's my, gonna be a you know a, a long downward period sometimes it could be years of ups and then sometimes it could be years of down and struggling in, in, in our Christian lives this is what it are but these young people who is confused and who wants to serve two masters 
they up today and they down tomorrow they up today and they down tomorrow because you 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 trying to you trying to you trying to uh, um serve two masters you you need to repent you need to find out which one you're going to serve you you need to either repent from your sins and live holy and and say okay oh god i'm going to surrender my all to you and not see no I, this yes thing i i don't you know um this yes thing i i, I uh, guys i just can't do this yes thing I, I i can't do this yes thing because this yes thing is you no know, I, I just can't you know you you either so you either tell god i god i surrender my heart unto you because when you surrender that means you give everything up you give it up you that's it you throw in the right the white flag and you ain't looking back but when you have to give saying i have to give god a yes another yes and another yes and another yes that means you had a lot of no's that you going after you had a lot of no's that you direct yourself to and because of that you always got to give god a yes instead of surrendering your heart to god and say i surrender you aren't giving god so many yes because there's a lot of no's behind all of your yes i will continue this guys it'll be a second part